Renee, and you're listening to Smooth House Radio.
Welcome, 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 the Mr. Unique Show. Welcome to the Mr. Unique Show. We are, uh, I don't know why they probably did. We are uh, glad to be here today. You know, we are, uh, we are into our, our studies into the book of Thomas. It's what we are doing. We are in. Mass is what we are doing. I mean, we are the book of Judah. The book of Judah. The book of Judah. Yeah, that was last week. We are in the book of Judas. That's what we are. The book of Judas. We in the book of Judas and we are, you know, we just. We just learning some things about uh we learned some things about Mr. Judas, you know. That's what we doing. And 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 and, and trying to get some understanding. That's what we do. I think that's better now. Is that better? I think that's better. With the body. So yeah, we're in the book of Judas, and uh, we've been learning that the book of Judas, the book of Judas is uh, the book of Judas is different. It really is. The book of Judas is is completely different. It is um, uh, it's one of those books that make you say, "Oh my!" It's one of the books that make you say, "Oh my." Oh my, oh my. We're going to jump back into it tonight, but you know, YouTube, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Facebook, we see you, we don't talk to stars, Twitch. Much love to y'all over at Twitch, man. Twitter, Instagram, my new family, man, LinkedIn. Uh, welcome to the Mr. Unique Show. This is one of those situations. Now, I'm going to need y'all, I'm going to need my family to uh do, do something for me. I'm going to need y'all to let me know if my volume starts tripping. Let me know. But what, 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 and I'm going to say this, you know, I know we have people that is, or that are, or whatever the right way is, uh, feeling some type of way because we are talking about this. I'm just going to have to be honest with you right now. I'm going to have to be so honest with y'all right now. Um, when people, we getting questions asked, and one thing y'all know me and motivational pool is not gonna do uh we're not gonna just say something because uh it's the script we're not gonna do that oh uh, we're not gonna do uh we're not gonna just say something because it's what was told to us actually we've been doing a lot of research for years you know um and it's just some things as we say all the time we say take your feelings out of it okay let's take our feelings out of it it's just some some things um it's some things that you have to be just morally that happened in the bible that you have to admit it was kind of messed up no kind of messed up it's a whole lot of messed up, to be honest with you. You ask me. It's some things that, some things that happened in the Bible, and so we always know that you know this is things. It was some things that was taken out, and then you say, well, even in the Bible, it says that um, Yeshua, um, he uh, he told the disciples. The disciples asked Yeshua. 
why do you talk to the crowd the way that you do and he said it's secret he said it's easy to you to the crowd i talk in parable but to you i give the secret things so what was the secret thing because kjv never told us what the secret things were it never mentioned it to us what was the what was the the secret things that 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 Yeshua was shared with the disciples. Well, we do know that um we that the 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 the, the Bible um we do know that it's some things that's been taken out. So now the books that we have now the books that we have now they are uh those lost books. Yeah, those lost books, those lost books, uh, and then you find those books, and then those books, it's like you you know you say okay well I I know that there's books that been taken out the Bible I know that there's some things um I know that may not be all the books that's in the Bible but then when you when you say well here goes one of the books that was taken out and then that was not accepted it's not accepted now the, the books are not accepted this that's considered now as blasphemous is it though or would it be blasphemous to not even have those in there because remember y'all KJV says oh um, that you're not supposed to add or take away from. That's what it say. It say don't add or take away. And then when I look at things and I see that, I see that 73 books are in the Catholic Church canon. And then I see 81 books in the Ethiopian Orthodox, the very first church. And then I see that only we got 66 something is not right that's not that's not that's 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 not that's not that's that's not legit right there mm -mm. that's not legit so we jumped into and then the things about these books is these books these books actually start off like the books of, the book of thomas actually started off said these are the secret sayings and even the book of judas starts off with these are or it says these are the secret accounts the secret accounts is what it says it says these are the secret accounts because we know that yeshua did tell some secrets all right gospel of judas says that the secret account of the revelation that jesus spoke in conversation with judas is carried during a week uh during a week three days before the celebrated passover and there's a lot of gems here it says when yeshua appeared on earth he performed miracles and great wonders for the salvation of humanity and since walks and since some walked in the way of righteousness while others walked in the way of transgressions the 12 disciples were called he began to speak with them about the mysteries beyond the world and what would take place at the end often he did not appear to the disciples as himself but he was found among them as a child and you say well why would uh why would yeshua be, be shown as a child well that that just simply says this I'm, let me help you out yeshua showed uh he showed up to the disciples in the level of their spiritual maturity, right? So, right there, it already it, it should already tell you because it said that Yeshua. It says that he did not uh, often he did not appear to his disciples as himself, but he was found among them as a child. So he was found among them as a child because they was only at a child's level mentally in a spiritual aspect right so that automatically tells me that yeshua had two at least two different forms because he said he did not appear as himself and he was as a child so that also tells me that that also tells me that what yeshua looks like to you does not mean that yeshua is going to look the same way to me that's what it is He's not going to look the same to everybody. He's not. So you can't tell me what Jesus looked like to me. That's what y'all do. But his name is Yeshua. You can't tell me what Yeshua is going to look like to me because you don't know because you ain't me. So watch this. And now you're going to see when we get into this book, you're going to see why the book of Judas was taken out. Watch this. It says one day he was with his one day he was with his disciples in Judea and found them gathered together, seated in pious observance. When he approached his disciples, gathered together and seated and offered a prayer of thanksgiving on the bread, he laughed. The disciples said to him, Master, why are you laughing at our prayer of thanksgiving? We have not, we have done what is right. He answered and said to him, I am not laughing at you. 
you are not doing this because of your own will, but because it is through this that your God, lowercase g, will be praised. They said, Master, you are, whatever, the son of our God. Jesus said to them, how did you know me? Truly, I said, you know, generation of people that are among you will know me. That right there tells me. Let me tell you what that tells me. That tells me that that tells me that first of all Yeshua laughed at something right Thanksgiving he laughed at him, but he won't, we, we, ain't we from the damn thing he said man I'm not laughing at you you you're only doing this because of your God so that your God can be praised they said wait a minute ain't we on the same team he said, no, sir, we not. No, we not. We not on the same team. Mm -mm. We not on the same team. Because he's laughing at them. He's laughing at them. And he's laughing at them for praying. And you see where he said, he said, y'all doing this so that your God will be praised. He said that. And it's lowercase g, as a matter of fact. That's lowercase g. They said, master, you are... Again, these are fragmented parts. They said, Master, you are blank, 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 the son of our God. Jesus said unto them, How do you know me? Y'all don't know me. He said, And no true, no generation of these people that are among you will know me. Watch this. He said, When his disciples heard this, they was they started to get angry and infuriated and began blaspheming against him in their hearts. When Yeshua observed their their lack of understanding, he said to them, Why has this agitation led you to anger? Your God who is within you have provoked you to anger. He said, your God. He said, your God that's within you. He said, your God that's within you. So, it's another God? He said, your God that's within you. That's what he said. Has provoked you to anger. He said, your God. They thought that them, him and, they thought that he was on the same page with Yeshua. And he said, don't none of y'all know me. He said, why has this agitation? led you to anger your god who is within you he's again he said your god wait a minute now wait a minute aren't yeshua and the god of the old testament aren't, aren't they on the same page or shouldn't they be on the same page ain't that what y'all told me y'all told them y'all told me y'all told me that they was on the same page that was, that, was, that was what was said. But then Yeshua is saying, your God. He's saying, you're doing this so your God can be praised. Your God? Hold on now. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Your God? Aren't we on the same team? Yeah, aren't we on the same team? Got to pay some bills, man. It's the Mr. Unique Show. We're going to come back. I'm going to leave you right there. Got to pay some bills. Mr. Unique Show. I promise y'all. He'll be back. Looking to record your next demo? D-Boy Records and Blacked Out Studios for all the things you need to record that perfect song. From mixing, mastering, producers, musicians, singers, and songwriters. Call 424-320-8675. Also, go check out the hot new project from d -Boy Records artist Tiffany Renee on all major streaming platforms. d -Boy Records and Blacked Out Studios. It's the place to free your mind. Brought to you by... TV. Catch the adventures of Curly P Monday through Friday, 12 11 Central, Saturday and Sunday, 2 1 Central. The Mr. Unique and Motivational Core Show, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 8 Central. The Roll Up Show with Zeke, Tuesday, 8 30, 7 30 Central. The Mr. Unique Show, Thursday, 9 8 Central. Freestyle Friday, Friday, 9 8 Central. Also, you can catch us on Roku. YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, even LinkedIn. Just go to Smooth House TV, the smoothest place on earth. Brought to you by. I miss the unique Why not? Why not? 
this is very emotional for me. Time's getting hard, but nobody wants to see. Everybody's flowing through their own mind. But inside it's me who I really want to be. I'm trying to take this time to unwind. But this time is hard. This time I can't really get to the places that I want to be. Because it's the enemy inside of me. And that is the one that's really against me. I'm fighting a battle, a battle that's spiritually. And I'm trying to see the waves, but my eyes won't allow me to see. I have to open up my world to new possibilities and see that the young kid in me is starving for new eternity. It's a blind man game, but you gotta learn how to be something strong. It's a cold world out there and sometimes it'll leave you on your own but you gotta understand that you have the power within so you can always stay strong and this life and this journey just might leave you alone remember that it's a fact but it's okay because life will always bring you back Enjoy it and understand it, cope with it. Because a lot of things always happen in your life. But understand me, you can understand it. Know your heart, live your life, and love your people. Bless. Welcome back to. Welcome back to the Mr. Unique Show. Welcome back. Yep, we into it. The Gospel of Judas. We in, we are all the way in it. We diving in. We diving in. So let's just make it to it. It says that we at the part where Yeshua will walk up to his disciples laughing at them. He said they doing it because they God to be praised. When the disciples heard this, they said, we, we right here. They said, with his disciples. Heard this, they started getting angry and infuriated, began blaspheming against him in their head, in their hearts. When Jesus observed their lack of understanding, he said, Why does this agitation lead you to anger? Look, y'all, he said, Your God, that's a lowercase g, your God, who is within you, have provoked you to anger within your souls. Let any one of you who is strong enough among human beings bring out the perfect human being and stand before my face. They all said, We have the strength, but their spirits did not dare to stand before him, except for Judas is scared. He was able to stand before him, but he couldn't look him in the eyes and he turned his face away judah said to him i know who you are and where you have come from you have come from the immortal realm of barbilio and i am not worthy to other the name of the one who has sent you knowing that judas was reflecting upon something but that was exalted yes she was said to him step away from the others and i shall tell you the mysteries of the king hold it right there right there hold on first of all Why did Yeshua say your God? Now can't you see and understand why the church wouldn't want this in the Bible? I can. I can understand. Because this totally goes against everything that's in the Bible. Yeshua is telling us that things, the, 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 the life that we want and the, and, and, and the salvation is within. That's why he laughed at the disciples because he said, y'all ain't never seen me doing this. So why are y'all doing this? Remember, in Matthew, we read it last week. It said that Yeshua told them that to you, I give the secret. I, I, to them, I give parables. He said, but to you, I give the secret things. Now, these books start off by telling us that these are the secrets. So am I supposed to just disregard these books? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Am I to disregard them? Am I to say, oh no, these, these books are, uh, even though I know that it was some books that was taken out. Oh uh, no, no, th this is not the book that was taken out. 
Is that what I'm supposed to do? That's what I want to know. And see, uh, this is what I want to know. We are told and we are taught that all of God's works are good. Fair enough, okay? Fair enough, all right? Fair enough, okay? So where was God with his all-knowing? All works are perfect. So you have to tell me and you say, well, you can't tr you can't uh excuse me, uh um try to understand God. All of God's work is perfect. You can't try to understand God. Okay. So if all of his works are perfect, those three nine-year-olds that got killed at school in a place that they were supposed to be, that's perfect. God knows everything, so he knew that this was going to happen and still allowed it to happen. Why? No, 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 no. Don't don't give us the what we don't want and what we are tired of is don't question God. All of God's uh works are perfect, but y'all tell me in all my getting to get an understanding. So that's what we're trying to get. We're trying to get an understanding on how can you tell me that this is a perfect work of God? You knew this man or this woman, I'm sorry, you knew this whoever it is, I don't care. You knew they was gonna get up, and you knew that three nine-year-olds was going to be killed you you knew that these parents had no idea that this was going to happen but yet you allowed this to happen because you know everything and you're all in the place you're all places at one time and you know everything but you didn't know where adam was i'm just asking a question man don't be mad at me i just asked the question Yes, you were talking to me. I speak of the uh to, to to you guys. To you guys. That's what he said. That's what yes, you were told to him. He said, uh, to y'all, Matthew 13, 10 through 17. Jesus' disciples came to him and said, Why do you use parables? Why do you use parables? Let me see if I can make that bigger so y'all can see that. Because I don't want nobody to say we made that up. You know. Why Jesus' disciples, uh oh, let's see, okay. Jesus' disciples came to him and said to him, Why do you use parables when you speak to the crowds? Yes, you reply, because they haven't received the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but you have. He said, But you have. He said, But you have. Yes, you reply, because they have not received the secrets of the kingdom of heaven, but you have. For those who have, for those who have will receive more. And they will have more than enough. But as for those who don't have, even the little they have will be taken away from them. This is why I speak to the crowd in parables. Although they see, they don't really see. And all they he although they hear, they don't really understand. So we know that Yeshua talked to them in parables. We know this. We know he talked to them in parables. And you what he told them. He, he talked to the crowd in parables and he told the disciples, he said, I told y'all the secret things. Y'all know the secrets. That's what was so funny about them sitting down, praying because he never taught them that. He never taught them that. Gathered together, seated, and often prayer of thanksgiving of the bread. He laughed. Y'all say the shortest scripture in the Bible is he, Jesus will. I disagree. Because I don't believe that's in there. I don't believe that's in the original text. Nope, 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 nope. What I really believe is because the Bible is actually opposite of everything that we're actually seeing. Think about it. Because Yeshua said in, Tom, in, in the book of Thomas, he said that if you say he said, if anybody tell you that the, 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 the kingdom of heaven is in the sky, the bird's going to beat you. He said, they say it's in the water, the fish going to beat you. But that's what we're being told. So I believe everything is opposite. So instead of Jesus, well, I believe the shortest scripture in the Bible that was taken out the Bible and Jesus, what was actually put in. I believe the, 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 the shortest scripture in the Bible is right here. He laughed. He laughed because he said, Y'all ain't never seen me doing this. 
So why would y'all be doing this? All this time y'all been around me and y'all have never seen me do this. Why are y'all doing it? Why? Why are y'all doing it? That's what was, that's what made him laugh because he said all this time y'all been around me, man, y'all ain't never seen me do this and y'all sitting here and y'all doing it. What is really going on? That's what he said. He wanted to know what was going on. Let's go on into it. We're going to jump into it. Jump down some more. Let's go down here. Where, right here. This is this is one that I feel as though we must pay attention to. They said, we have seen a great house. Now, now the disciples come to him and they had a vision. They had a dream. They said, we have seen a great house with a large altar in it, 12 men. They are the priests. We would say, an, and a name and a crowd of people is waiting at the altar until the priest and receive the offerings. But we kept waiting. Yes, she was saying, what are the priests like? They said, some two, some whatever, two weeks. Some sacrifice their own children, others their wives in praise and humility with each other. Some sleep with men, some are involved in slaughter, some commit a multitude of sin and deeds of lawlessness. And the men who stand before the altar invoke your name. And then all the deeds of their deficiency, the sacrifices are brought to completion. After they said this, they were quiet, for they were troubled. Watch this. Yes, you was about to shoot down some stuff that we do now. Yes, she was saying to them, why are you troubled? Truly, I say to you, those, truly, I say to you, all the priests who stand before the altar invoke my name. Again, I say to you, my name has been written on this of the generations of the stars through the human generation. And they have, watch this. He said, they have planted trees without fruit in my name in a shameful manner. Yes, she was saying to them, those who have seen receiving the offers at the altar, that is who you are. That is the God you serve. Wait a minute. Again, he said, that's the God you serve. And are those, and you are those 12 men you have seen. The cattle you have seen brought to brought for sacrifice are the many people you've led astray. Now, let's see, check this out. He said it's the one that you led astray. Think about the people that did not know about this. That, that this is this is Yeshua was 2,000 years ago. Think about how many people that went up the straight. Yes, you were saying that y'all are leading them. That's that y'all leading them. That, they didn't plant a tree. They didn't did a whole bunch of stuff in my name that I ain't had nothing to do with. Wow. How do you control people? Religion and fear. I keep on asking because I keep having people come to me and they keep on saying, people keep on coming to me and they keep on saying me and, and, and motivational poet. Constantly getting emails daily about people saying you probably shouldn't talk about this and probably shouldn't talk about that because we don't know what we're talking about. And so I say, okay, well, I'll give you that. Fair enough. Okay, all right. Well, since I don't know who I'm talking about, then you must know the answer to the next thing that I'm about to say because I actually know it. So, in order for you to tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about, you must know what I'm talking about is wrong and what you're talking about is correct. So, with that being said, who was King James? The next thing out the mouth that I get is, well, how is that relevant? How is it not? How is not? How is it not? Who is King James? How is that not relevant? Well, you need Mr. Uh, Motivation Report. How does that have to do with anything? It has to do a lot with everything. Well, let me tell you why. Because I've never heard of King James in middle school or elementary school, middle school, junior high, high school, college, Sunday school, nor is he mentioned in the Bible. But yet, we read from his Bible every Sunday. Why? Why the King James Version of the Bible is what we read? And we don't even know who he is. A lot of people don't even know that he was a bisexual dictator. Nothing against the LGBTQ plus community, but the Christian community is, they, they, is, uh, they are against that. But the book they read, the guy is a part of that community. Yup. The Christian community also tells me that it's God the Father, God the Son, or Yeshua the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. 
should tell me that God is a man. How can God be my mother when I'm motherless if he's a man? Find out that the word Holy Spirit is actually feminine. Sophia, let wisdom have her perfect words. I don't know what to tell you. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. We, we into it, man. We in it. The gospel of Judas. We are. We're in the gospel of Judas. And see, oh, man. I know this is gonna. Be, I know it makes people mad to hear this. I know. Um, y'all hear me and poets say all the time that this totally goes against, man. Everything we was raised on totally goes against, it, man. It's not. It's not even. It's, it's. It totally goes against it. But I have to give truth. I have to give truth, and I. I I'm on. I, what I'm paid to do is the Miss Unique Show. Got the adventures of Curly Pete. I'll be back. Okay, we live anyway, but you can, uh, dang, what I was finna say, oh, that's it, you can catch me, Mr. Unique, and Motivational Port on the Smooth House TV show, uh, 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 the smoothest place on earth, the best network ever, so keep your eyes open, cause season two coming, and cut me up a little bit more, yeah, yeah, appreciate it, appreciate it, oh yeah, Hey, I appreciate this beat, yeah. Mr. Unique. International Pepper Curly oh, Pete, man. I'm going to yeah. just tell y'all a little something. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Your boy in the yo. Oh, this is yeah. just something from my heart. Oh, yeah. Now, baby, you know I love you. I ain't playing no more. What it do? I took my time when I seen you, babe. You know you my lady. And you drive me crazy. Even though I'm internationally pimping, baby. Got one in Asia, one in Canada, one, one up in, in the night. But it's you I think about all the time, baby. Yeah, yeah we, we play, play baby. baby. And, and you drive me crazy. crazy. Now I love you. And I promise, girl. Later on in my life, I'ma stop it, girl. But not right now. No, I no, got too much right going now. on. What you no, talking about? You right know, now. I got too much no, going on right now. I can't no, stop pimping right, right now. now. Let me get back to that. Okay, okay. I can't do it, baby. Not right, right now. now. I'm fairly pimping and it's going down internationally. It's all on me, huh? Hey, Mr. Mr. Unique. 
he did his thing. Uh, listen, look at my teeth, baby. They white like Chris and Clay. I got them fixed. You came in the house, said, what's wrong with me? What's wrong I with said, you? What? You tripping? I can't I get my, my teeth fixed, baby. In my mouth. You are like, okay. no, you I can't get your teeth fixed. Because once you get your teeth fixed, then all them girls going to be up on you. I said, listen, I ain't trying I'm internationally pepping this too late. They all up on me right now, bitch. You don't know my name. I'm Curly P. Uh, don't, don't play, play with, with me. me. Huh? I beat you down on that plane, girl. Don't play shit. with me. I won't do the wrong. Tell him again, Curly. What you yeah. got? Tell I said, him again. I won't do you wrong. Yeah. Baby. Huh? I won't do nothing wrong to you. I'm feeling sexy on this call right here, girl. You, I'm about to break it's it down to you in a minute. You, I'm Check feeling real out. sexy right now. Go ahead now, Curly. Don't you hurt them now. Curly, they ain't ready for it. Don't hurt them now, oh. Curly. You're doing too much. I'm out, baby. I love you, Shout Curly. Shout out to Smooth House TV. Hey, miss, you need to play so hurt. You can cut the beat now. The smoothest right. place, the on, smoothest earth. place yeah. on earth. Yeah, the smoothest right. place on earth. That's right. <laughs> Boy, I tell you. Boy, I tell you. Boy, I tell you. I stay off of them being beef burrito. I, I got to stay off of them being beef burrito. Boy, them things. Oh, boy. What are you doing here? What you think I'm doing over here, Curly? You called me over here, man. You've been in the bathroom so long, I guess you forgot I was here. But I'm glad you called me over, bro. Because I keep hearing you say the Miss Unique Motivational Port and, and, and Curly P Show, man. Why is that? What's up with that, Curly? Right, boy, you ain't going to be talking to me like that while you up in my house, all right? You ain't going to be talking to me like that. I'm in a national pimp, all right? I'm in a national player. You got me so mad. My glasses won't even fit on, right? Don't you be talking to me like that, boy. I don't know. You better chill out. Hey, man, who are you, you talking to, bro? Hey, ass, man, I'll knock you out, homeboy, all right? You better stop saying the Miss Unique Motivation Report and Curly P Show because you have nothing to do with it, all right, homeboy? Better chill out before I knock you out, bro. I ain't playing with you, Curly. All right, I'm not playing with you, Curly. You ain't had to do that. You ain't had to hit me in my head like that. You ain't had to hit me in my head like that, boy. All right, keep your hand to yourself. Keep your hand, feet, and all other objects to yourself. Don't put your hands on me, all right? And let me tell you something else, okay? I don't care about all that stuff you talking. You want to do something, go ahead, because I'm international, and I'm going to do whatever I won't, cause I'm Curly P, baby. I'm international. I just got my teeth fixed, so you ain't finna do nothing to me, not cause I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm gonna watch out. Watch out. In this moment, I try. Me, Curly P, knew I fucked up. Yeah, I do that, boy. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I do that, boys. You know what you were doing. You know what you were doing. You know I just got my TV, boys. You know what? I got you. I got you. I was doing y'all. I was seeing you, and I was seeing Mr. Unique, and he got nothing to do it. I got you. You great for that. Look at my teeth.
No, you just tell them what I told you to tell them because I am Bob Palawalikowski. Welcome back. How are you guys doing? This is the Bob Palawalikowski Show on the best network ever, Smooth House TV, the smoothest place on earth. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I tried to do it the way you told me to. Hopefully, I said that last part right. Anyway, today, oh my God, today, we're having the most amazing interview ever that all of you guys love to just ask me about all the time. When are you going to interview Curly P? When are you going to interview Curly P? And I was like, who is this Curly P guy? So I did my research. Today, we're interviewing the most international player, international pimp, and everybody's father. Not mine, though, because... <laughs> Look at this face. Anyway, uh, Curly P, that's what they call him. So we're going to go live uh, with Curly P on a satellite. Hopefully he's not talking to us from jail. <laughs> you know how you black people can be. <laughs> I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Anyway, so Curly, how's it going over there, buddy, wherever you are? And how's life treating you? I'm doing good, Bob Papalopoulos. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing good. He's an international player, international pimp, Curly P. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing good, but I'm not well, your buddy. Well, Curly, though. thank okay. you for Bob all that jibber jabber, number bumble over bullshit there looking all crazy. Doing over there. Good to see that you're not in jail because we know you love fried chicken. No, you guys, I won't do it again. I won't do it again. Okay, okay. So, Curly, how long did it actually take you? to become uh, the international player pimp that everybody claim you are. First off, Bob Papalopoulou, all right, the little chicken jokes, the little chicken jokes, it ain't funny, Whoa, right? Curly. It ain't funny, I didn't right? mean any harm by it when I said it. it. I am internationally pimping, Curly P. I you am can go and look me up, okay? I was sitting with the best of the best. You know what I'm talking about, okay? It was George Washington Carter. Well, that's good, Curly. Curly. P. You I am what I'm so, trying to so tell glad you. So don't that play with you my name have, like that, okay? Uh, told us and uh, everything about yourself long, and how you uh, got right. to the I point of internationally pimping. Okay? That so is so uh, uh, amazing. I apologize. I didn't want to step on any toes, you know? As you know, you black people toes look like Tyrannosaurus Rex feet. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus feet. <laughs> I, right, right, I won't do it again. Right, right, I won't do it again. I'm not going to come over there. So, so anyway, Curly. Hey, you better stop playing with us. That means so you're saying I'm not going to be international, right? So, why haven't I, Bob Palawalikowski, heard of you before? Bob Palawalikowski. Answer that one, Mr. Curly P. Okay? And you're not looking in the right spot, okay? I'm in the national pimp, okay. Curly P, okay? And I does this baby for a living. I got okay. things out, you know, okay. I'm ready, okay, I'm doing Curly. my thing, got cool. jury out. I'm okay. Curly P, I just P, wanted baby. to know. I never I heard half of before, but yet you're I only got the whole pimping. You're all everywhere. I got half all of the pimping. Every time I'm Curly driving, I'm, you need I'm going places. So all your here is Curly P. All this craziness, I'm just tired of it. I don't know. That was a good answer. I don't know. Anyway, dollar, dollar. That's all for today, people. Thanks for just having me, Bob. Thank, thank you thank for having me, Bob. Pala, la, we'll have more with Curly Curly and me, Bob Palakowski. This is the Smooth House TV Network. I'm your host. Sorry. I'll be back to you. You know what to do. Hit me up on the phone. I'll come back and do the second interview with your Bob Palakowski. I'm out. Hopefully his gun don't get jammed. Okay. All right. Bob Palakowski and I'm out, guys. Peace. I should have never ate that bean burrito soup. Oh no, or was it hot bean fajita? I don't really know. I just know it had black bean, refried bean, pinto bean, yo bean, fried bean. Oh, just give me a minute. Bob Palawalakowski here. We're here live. Report from the Smooth House TV Network, and we have Curly P on video. Let's go live and see what he has going on. Hey, hello, baby. Hey, baby, what's good? You already know what it is, man. It is not no pimp. And everybody, daddy, your player. You know me, I'm kind of drunk right now, so I think they can get nothing right right now, but you your boy, Curly P. You ain't a national pimp. Ain't a national player. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Excuse me, I had to cough. That was my cough. Dang, Curly, that's how you cough, bro. Hey, Curly. 
this a family show, bro. Let's get back to it. Oh, uh, okay, boy. Oh, uh, my fault. You want to say it's a family show? I want no family show when you bust me in my damn teeth. But whatever. I'm going to do it how you want me to do it, boy. Okay? All right. Everybody, how you doing out there? This your boy. You in the National Appeal Planet, everybody, Daddy. Curly P. And I'm just here letting you know to follow us. We doing big things, man. We got the Avengers of Curly P coming. Brought to you by Smooth House TV. Uh, 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 and a CP production. You already know I got my hands in everything. You know, I'm doing my thing. You know, also catch the Avengers of Curly P. Monday through Friday. Uh, uh, from, uh, 12, 12, 1 Central. And you can also catch me. Big Pimpin', uh, Saturday to Sunday, uh, 12-1. So, the first one, Monday to Friday, that's gonna be, uh, 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 1, 12, 1. And then, the Saturday to Sunday, that's gonna be 2-1. You know what I'm saying? Or 1-2. It don't matter. Whichever one it is, you gonna see your boy come on. And you gonna already know, just to jump on, cause the Avengers of Curly P ain't gonna stop, baby. We moving to the top, baby. You know what I'm saying? And we also got the FML clothing. I got my FML fit on right now. I'm looking real good. I'm looking real free. You know what I'm saying? I, I always rock my FML when I'm out in the street. Gotta do my thing with my girl. They always be like, oh, Curly, where you get that fit from? I said, the FML, baby. I said, yeah, the FML. This FML. I got my hands in everything. You know, I got my hands in everything. All right, Curly, you know what's funny, bro? That ain't got nothing to do with you. you that ain't even your dog on brand, bro. Come on, man. Chill out, man. Don't don't throw my brand in there like it's yours. Hey, boy, I got this. I know what I'm doing. What, you gonna knock my teeth out again for saying that I rock every mail? I got a part of it, baby. Just let me have a part of it. No, you do not have a part of it, bro. That is not your dog on brand. That is my motivation for That is my brand, FML and Curl, baby. Been established since 2014, bro. Don't even try me, Curly. That's my, that's my, that's my, that's my. about to do uh that's it the wallet right here let me get that wallet Ooh, i got that wallet oh boy oh boy you just made me hot baby my day got good okay let me let me put this in my my pimping and just, oh yes. oh boy you look as hell that's just me boy you looking kind of good boy Okay, hey, I just got me some money. Oh, now I got, oh, oh, God, oh, oh, I got oh. A few moments later. Man, I know I left my dog on wallet here, man. I know I left my wallet here when I, I know I left my, cause when I came out the room, I had put, I put my wallet, hold up. That looks strange. That wasn't here when I left. What in the world is this? Oh, Curly P. Yep, I know what that is. You can't get that hair grease from nowhere else. All right, Curly, I got you. Okay, I'm gonna do something about it. Got you. Boy, I tell you the truth, boy. This boy Curly, man, just, I just don't understand what would make him do something so stupid like that. Like, what would make him want to go and just break into somebody's house and steal something like i just don't get it y'all it's just so stupid like uh. smooth house tv they're calling me for oh snap it's probably mr unique calling me trying to figure out why i haven't came back yet but i can't because curly they took my dog home wallet uh. let me answer it phil is, is is it okay if we say nigger Oh, come on, Phil. Don't act like you've never done it before. It's just not me, Bob. It's you too, Phil. 
Yeah, you did. You did it that one time we were watching, uh, what's his name? Cabron Ames. Wow. Yeah, when well, he did that big shawoosh stuff. I was like, oh, this nigger's gut. And he was like, yeah, that nigger is. And I was like, oh, but we can't say that on air. Right. Okay, no worries. I won't say it then, nigger. Oh, uh, oh, welcome back to the show. It's your host, the one and only, Bob Palawalakowski here on the Smooth House TV Network, the smoothest place on her. Hmm. Maybe I can do it next time. I'm trying to be hip like you black people. One and two and three and four. Anyway, boy. Oh, man. Didn't see you there. Must have booty dialed you trying to get into the form of what you niggers say. Oh, oh, I wasn't supposed to say that word. I apologize. So, we see that you have some feud going on with uh, Curly P. Hey, bro, how you know what's going on oh, in my house? Bro? Well, you know us white people. We know everything. <laughs> anyways, don't worry about all that. You just need to answer you, the question, you, Mr. Poet. You know huh? What are you, you, know you going to do on? about Curly P breaking into your house, Mr. Baller Shot Caller? Wow. What are you going to do about it? Bob, I ain't, I ain't got time for this, Bob. You know what, bro? Don't Bob, you Bob, hang, Bob, 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 you don't hang up no on me. Bob, don't you Bob. get get back here. Well, well, guys, we'll be back for whatever return that there may be. This is Bob Polowalikowski and Smooth House TV Network. The smallest place on... Oh, I could never get that last part right. <laughs> Think I've been eating too much fried chicken? Oh, no! Okay, I'm out. Peace! Man, this man Curly got me so hot. Curly, that's the phone, bro. Answer the phone. What good, boy? What good? What going on? What going on, boy? Curly, what you got going on over there, bro? I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing nothing. No, not that one. The other one. Okay. The other one. Okay, Curly. I ain't doing nothing. Curly. What good? Where is my wallet? I don't know what you talk about. Why you calling me and asking me where your wallet is? Not that one. Because there's the other one. Come on now. I know you were there, at my bro. house and you took my wallet. Now, I'm going to ask you again, Curly. Where what? is my wallet? Come on. Hey, man, listen, boy. It's February. You know what I'm saying? You can't do this black on black okay. thing. Not that one. The other wallet, okay. girl. You want I don't ain't took my wallet. Then I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm? What's this, Curly? Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's this. Oh. 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 That's this yours, bro. This is yours. I... Mm. Nigga hung up on me. And welcome back. And welcome back to the show. And welcome back. And welcome back to the show. Welcome back to the Mr. Unique Show. Yep, I had fun with y'all. Look, it's the look, look. Don't get mad at me, man. We just we just answer questions, you know. We just get questions, and we're not gonna just give the typical the script that's that's usually given. We're not gonna just do that. We're not gonna just give you the script because it's the thing to say. No, 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 no. People really want to know what's going on, and you can't just tell people now to do it this way. Well, how am I knowing that you're doing it right? Because there's a lot of other ways to do it too, and. Why is it that Christians go through the most suffering? I don't know. Tomorrow is Freestyle Friday. I think Curly P gonna be my co-host. I'm not sure. But uh, I don't know, man. I, I just don't know. But yeah, we 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 look, we learning all together. And I'm gonna tell y'all something. I'm, 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 let me let me let me give you this one. Praying is spell casting tell you why i say that when you get ready to cast a spell what do you do you say some words and you expecting something supernatural to happen to you that benefits and works on your behalf your behalf isn't that the same thing you do when you cast a spell you're trying to do something to benefit yourself and you're looking for something supernatural to do it? that's what it is i believe that one with y'all and I'm gonna give you that one for free. Yeah, I'm gonna give you that one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you 
I'm gonna give you that one for free. I'm not gonna even. I'm not gonna even. I'm not gonna even charge you for that one. I'm gonna give you that one for free. Yep, I'm gonna give it to you for free. That one because, see, we have to. We have to understand that. We have to understand that. Oh. Uh, we have to. We gotta get this right. It's imperative that we get this right. It's imperative. We must get this right. We must get the right because I find some things that just for me, they're just a little, a little bit kind of hard to kind of, kind of fathom. You know, they're kind of hard to, 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 uh, they're kind of hard to wrap my fingers around. Like these nine-year-olds that just got killed at school. Yeah, it's hard for me to wrap my hand around it. I can't understand how that's God's perfect work. You know everything, but you couldn't stop it. Really, you couldn't stop it. You didn't stop it. You weren't gonna stop it. You just, what is it? I mean, you wanted that. Well, 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 explain it. You know everything. You see everything, but yet that happened again. How is that perfect? Where's the silver lining in that? Where is that? Where is the? Where is the peace that a parent would ever have with that? You would never make peace with that. <coughs> Excuse me. Because it was a senseless act. <coughs> because it was a senseless act. something that didn't even have to happen but it did help me understand make it make sense we're in the gospel of judas until tomorrow freestyle friday mr unique motivation poor show until tomorrow love y'all good night looking to record your next demo d-boy records and blacked out studios for all the things you need to record that perfect song from mixing master producers musicians singers and songwriters call 424-320-8675 also go check out the hot new project from Debo records artist tiffany renee on all major streaming platforms Debo records blacked out studios it's the place to free your mind brought to you by House TV. Catch the adventures of Curly P Monday through Friday, 12 11 Central, Saturday and Sunday, 2 1 Central. The Mr. Unique and Motivational Core Show, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 8 Central. The Roll Up Show with Zeke, Tuesday, 8 30, 7 30 Central. The Mr. Unique Show, Thursday, 9 8 Central. Freestyle Friday, Friday, 9 8 Central. Also, you can catch us on Roku. YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, even LinkedIn. Just go to Smooth House TV, the smoothest place on earth. Brought to you by. For me, times getting hard, but nobody wants to see. Everybody's flowing through their own mind, but inside it's me who I really want to be. I'm trying to take this time to unwind, but this time is hard. This time I can't really get to the places that I want to be. Cause it's the enemy inside of me And that is the one that's really against me I'm fighting a battle, a battle that's spiritually And I'm trying to see the waves But my eyes won't allow me to see I have to open up my world to new possibilities and see that the young kid in me is starving for new eternity. It's a blind man game, but you gotta learn how to be something strong. It's a cold world out there, and sometimes it'll leave you on your own. But you
future gotta understand that you have the power within so you can always stay strong and this life and this journey just might leave you alone remember that it's a fact but it's okay because life will always bring you back enjoy it and understand it cope with it because a lot of things always happen in your life but understand me you can understand it know your heart live your life and love your people